this is John from RSMB Help, and today I'm not gathering a new clip. I am just going to use an old one that I used in an RSMB. So this is a clip, or the raw footage of a clip. And today I'm going to be talking about the mask generator effect. And a lot of people are scared of this effect. If you go to video event, event FX, um, there's this thing, mask generator, just under linear blur. And when you apply it, it gives you like a, a black and white looking thing. And when I was first making RSMVs, that's all I used it for. It was like, oh, you can adjust these and you can get a different looking black and white. And I thought that was really cool. But I really didn't understand the concept of it until um, I started researching it to find out what was going on with this pretty cool effect. So what a mask generator is, it generates a mask which sounds very redundant and it is because you know it's appropriately titled and masks work in black and white black means not visible and white means visible so for example if you had something that's all black that's in mask terms that means transparent or if you had something that's all white that means opaque and so what a mask generator does is based on the distribution of light throughout your, your clip or that frame it creates a mask and as you can see um, these they're different shades of gray uh, for each thing which means that there's different levels of transparency for everything and what these four things let you do low in high and low out and high out is adjust the amount of light that is being shown through so that's very cool and conceptual but how I find it to look cool is when you uh, put something on top of something else uh, and that's really where I think this is cool so if we create a new layer we're just gonna copy this and put the same clip on top of it okay same timing and everything and on this top clip we're going to uh, create we're gonna add this mask generator okay and we're going to put this on uh, solo, meaning that that's the only uh, track that is being shown. And we're going to adjust the lighting to have the sky and it, uh, the character's shirt pretty white and everything else varying shades of gray. And so that looks pretty cool. And now what we can do is we can add effects which are only going to be applied in varying amounts to uh, everything. So. We're going to add a linear blur here, and um, you know you can really apply pretty much every effect, and we're going to have a 0.050. Now when we add this bottom clip back on, the black and white is going to become transparency all of a sudden and not black and white, and so you're going to see what's under it, but there's going to be this blur that's uh, in even, unevenly distributed, which is going to look really cool. So we turn that back on. Now, the white I think is too much, which is, you know, just my bad. Um, so if we add that back on, then if we uh, take a look at this, um, if you look at the text, there's this like blur, which is pretty blurry, but then down here it's not very blurry at all. And this really allows for you to have a very cool effect especially if you add a glow uh, glow and mask um, and linear blur are my two favorites for using with mask generator and so we add this glow um, and you can really add this cool like almost heavenly effect in that there's like white going on all around it so I'm going to just mess with this a little bit take the linear blur down a little bit um, and uh, not too much and I don't like that you can also um, adjust the 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 layer I guess that this is applying to every um, every track has four or five different layers which are luminance red green blue and alpha um, this is standard RGB and if we apply it to only the red, then it's only the red's transparency that's going to come through, 
green, blue, um, and alpha is like light, which is really used in 3D meshes and stuff, not so much um, in an RSMB. And as you can see, that most, uh, if you're working with like Camtasia or Fraps or anything, you're not going to have an alpha channel, so don't even worry about that. Um, but any of the others are good. And I'd really just use one that gives you a cool effect. As you can see, if we do the, the blue one, this is kind of a cool thing. Yellow and blue are, I think, opposites. I don't know the color wheel very well, but I'm pretty sure they're dead opposites, um, diametrically opposed. And so the yellow is going to stay very, um, very not blurred, no matter how much we blur the rest of it. So if we blur like all this, see how the yellow is going to stay the same? So this is a very cool way of selecting what gets blurred or doesn't blur based on color. So we're just going to keep that and uh, RAM preview that. And I hope uh, this effect gets used more often um, because it really is a cool thing that, you know, it's just not used often. So um, please uh, tell me what you think. Post a video on your thoughts or a video of you doing this. Um, I think it'd be really cool. And uh, thank you. See you guys.